Hey guys, I'm featuring a Kenmore convertible model 1525-0 in this auction or video. Um, this is a convertible and that means that you can use this machine as either a flatbed as you see it here or free arm. Um, if you've done any sewing, you know that a free arm is eventually necessary. And you can do things on a free arm that is just harder than heck to do on a flatbed. I mean, you can do them, but they're pretty difficult. So having two machines in one is very, very advantageous. Um, it's a short shank machine. It uses class 15 bobbins. Now, to remove the bed, if you need to um, access the bobbin, <coughs> without removing the bed you just push this little button and the panel comes off then you can access your bobbin change your bobbin out or here's your feed dog drop over here that's accessible without moving the entire bed extension it snaps back on now to access the whole thing you just pull and there's your free arm access. Free arm, of course, means that you just have this arm sticking out and you can get something all the way around it, like a shirt sleeve or pants legs. And it snaps back on just as easily as it came off. Um, it has stretch and regular stitches, 12 stitches, um, and you access them by the red dot is regular turn your dial all the way around and the white dot is stretch and go back around. Um, this does have a buttonholer attachment that fits it. Do not have it to include. Um, the buttonholer will have this panel but it has a gear plate on it right here and it snaps right on and then you attach your buttonholer to it. Um, PDF copy of the instruction manual sent after purchase. It is double needle capable. Um, bobbin winders up here on the top. It's in pretty good cosmetic condition. It has a little paint rub right here on the front and it matches the paint rub on the foot pedal and I think when it was in the case they stored the foot pedal upright right here. The foot pedal scratched the machine and vice versa. So that's the only major issue there. Of course that does not affect the way it operates. Box full of low shank attachments. Brand new oil lint brush, couple needles, screwdriver, um, hammer foot, button sewing foot, satin stitch foot, seam guide, and double needle. And she is serviced and ready to go. Get a little closer to me here. She's a one amp machine all metal, no plastic gears, zigzag, um, let's change to a multi-point zigzag, nice easy to use machine, it's all mechanical, there are no computerized parts, no electronic parts, easy to service and maintain at home with just a brush, actually the lint brush that's included, and a bottle of sewing machine oil. All your oiling points are outlined in the instruction manual. Easy to do. This machine should never have to see a shop. This is one of the stretch stitches. And here's a pine leaf stretch. around a regular and we're going to do some denim. This is five layers of Levi's. I'm using a size uh, 16 needle. Get under there. 
One nice thing about the Kenmore's, and this one's no different, is the amount of lift that it has in the presser foot. Um, it lifts up nice and high so you can get your project under there without snagging it or forcing it under. It's one thing that you don't find in other machines. Five layers of denim. Now see my foot can lift up high enough that I can just take this fabric and flip it right around. No snags, no catches. Nice stitch on the denim. And that is the Kenmore model convertible <coughs> model 1525.